All right, for this example, we are going to look at the square root of negative 72. So we're doing some complex numbers here, and we want to simplify it. So on the Casio, what's nice, no shift, just hit the square root button. Actually, I'll show you the problem, though. Negative 72 is going to say, oh, math error. Well, that's because you can't take the square root of a negative unless you're in the complex mode. So it's a different mode on this calculator. Square root, negative 72, enter. Beautiful. An exact answer. 6 root 2, I. If I want to know the decimal equivalent, I can hit this button and bounce back and forth. So yes, inconvenient because I have to go to a different mode, but great answer. When we go back to the original normal mode, we've lost everything. Previous con uh, expressions or results, computations, whatever you want to call them, they're gone. You're not going to get them. I think constants, or things you've saved, I think, are preserved in memory. I'm not sure of that, though. All right, this guy, if you do square root of, you got to do shift, square root of 70, negative 72, domain error. Same kind of thing, but we don't have to go to a different mode. We just have to, or we don't have to go to a different menu. We do have to change the mode to accept, right here, complex answers. And you can always just leave that on. I'm not sure why it doesn't default to it. Now when we do this, we get an answer. It's an approximate answer, and there is no way to get an exact answer. So that's not great. Um, oh, one nice thing, though, is you'll notice you can go back up, though, and look at any previous calculations you've done. They're not gone. They're still in there. That's a big advantage on the TI is just the way it works. Okay, sharp, same thing. It doesn't like, it's not going to want to do the square root. You do have to shift, sorry, square root of a negative. You do have to do shift, and calculator's getting a little funky with its focus. Um, square root of 72, nope, no good. But when we go into our complex mode, 3, we can see if I can get the focus to be a little better here. Still have to shift to get the square root. Square root of negative 72. Notice it's not quite as pretty. It's not obvious that that third little square root symbol goes across, but it does. Gives us our answer, but it's not an exact answer, and there's no way to get that. So, that's a limitation. The winner is Casio.